Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a OneDrive login error. It says that it was interrupted or unsuccessful, followed by error code 0x8004deb4. So, it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in regedit, so R E G E D I T. Best match to come back to Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Now there should be a folder that says OneDrive. Go ahead and just left click on that one time. Please note, if you need to catch up with us, um, the file path is up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And now on the right side, you want to locate something that says Enable ADAL. Go ahead and double click on that. And now this is very important, guys. You want to type in exactly what you see on my screen here. So I'm about to go and paste in uh, value data. I'm going to go ahead and actually have this in the description of the video as well. So it's going to be seven zeros in a row followed by a two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's going to be a two. So again, make sure there's a total of seven zeros and then a two. Delete whatever's in here originally and then just type in exactly how you see it on my screen. Base should be hexadecimal. Select OK. And once you are done with that, you want to go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your device. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.